Hello guys and girls, today we will be testing this. It's an MPPT Boast Solar Charge Controller and I will be testing the conversion rate of this, the efficiency to see how much uh, wattage I can put in and how much I will get out in the other end. To help me with this, uh, I won't be using a solar panel today because well it's night here and uh, the wattage will fluctuate too much. So I will be using this. It's a 42 watt charger and I will be charging this, a 4 to 8 volt battery. And to my help I will also have two of these watt meters. Uh, I will connect one in each end of this uh, boost controller to see how much water goes in and how much water goes out. So that's the principle and what is a boost solar charge controller? Well basically what you want to do with this is you can charge any battery between 12 volts up to 72 volts and that, that is regardless of your input voltage. So you can use a 12 volt solar panel to charge uh, this, a 4 to 8 volt battery. The problem with this is some of the effects, some of the voltage will be lost uh, in the conversion and I want to find out just how much. When you buy this, it says that it has a 95% conversion rate. So if you put in 100 watts, you will get out, you will get 95 watts out. Uh, that would be a really good conversion rate, and I'm not really sure that this cheap converter from China will be able to do this. But we'll see. Uh, so give me a second to connect everything, and I'll be right back to show you the results. All right, so now everything is set up, except that I haven't uh, put in the charger in the outlet yet. Uh, I've chosen to uh, charge, I can see here that uh, the battery right now is at uh, 50.9 uh, volts. And I have set this only charger to 53 volts. I don't want to charge all the way up because I want it to last a little bit longer. Uh, this is lighting up because you have actually some, uh, it drains some uh, voltage from the battery and uh, soon this can light up and we see what's going to happen. And in a second this will start charging, hopefully. Let's give it a second or two. And there we go. So I'm going to move the camera so that you can see what's actually happening and uh, I'm going to try to talk you to everything that's on display here. We have a lot of cables and the one on the left is the input and the one on the right is the output. And you can see that the chargers supplying somewhere around 51 to 52 volts and 190 wattage. And uh, the output is uh, 51.8 volts and around 175 wattage. And as you can see, the amperage is higher on the left and on the right uh, because we want a higher voltage, so we have to lower the amperage. Okay, you can see that it's not a steady stream of voltage, it's actually rising and lowering quite a bit. So I'm going to try to take a couple of screenshots and do some calculations and uh, we'll see what the result is. As you can see on the screen uh, that I showed you, <laughs> I took a couple of screenshots and I tried to calculate the, the average uh, efficiency rate. And I actually did this by taking uh, the output voltage divided by the input voltage. And I got a percentage. And I would say that around 92-93% uh, is the average conversion rate for this which is better than I thought. It's rated at 95 and uh, I guess that the two of these will be drawing some power from it. And uh, actually, actually you will have some loss in the cable as well. So it actually pretty close, close to 95%, which is a lot higher than I thought. I bought this about a year ago and since then it's a doubling price. I think you can get it now for around 35 euros. Uh, but try to find the cheapest links on Amazon and that's Amazon.com, Amazon.se uh, and D and 
a couple of other places. I'll leave uh, links to them in the comments. And uh, I will do the same with this watt meter. They are actually really cheap. They cost around 11 euros. Uh, I would guess that's about 12 US dollars. And they work really good and they're very, very nice to just have around and see the power on your battery and chargers if you want to try things out. If you want something better, you can, can pay a lot more and you can get it more exact, but this works fine for me. I don't need to be exact, I just want to know if the things I buy is good enough or if it's just shit. Alright, uh, I guess some of you will have uh, things to say about how I did this test. So please leave a comment below if you think I did something bad so I can do it better next time. And if you think I did something good, well, give it a thumb up. And if you want to watch more videos from me, please subscribe. And uh, well, I hope you watch another video from me. Have a nice day. Bye bye.